Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac running OS X Yosemite. Okay guys, so the first things that you will need is you will need an 8 gigabyte USB drive and we will also need a copy of Windows 8.1. Now if you don't have a copy of Windows 8.1 you can purchase one or use the Microsoft Windows Preview version. For this example I'm going to use the Microsoft Windows Preview version which is a trial version of of uh, Windows 8.1 and I'll show you where to get it. If you open up a Safari web browser and go to the 123myit.com website then click on downloads. All right and once that loads there you can scroll down to where it says uh, Windows 8.1 downloads. There's your product key there so just make a note of that and you can download the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. Okay so once you have them downloaded, and that's what I have here uh, on my desktop. I've downloaded that software and I've got my uh, USB drive and I'm ready to go. Now one other thing too guys, uh, this is a preview version, okay? So what does that mean? After one month's time, it will actually expire and it will ask you to upgrade. If you don't upgrade, it will restart your, your PC or your Mac every two hours until you do. Okay, not a big drama for some people, more of a drama for other people. If you're looking at buying uh, a copy of Windows, uh, you'll find the different flavors of Windows. If you go back to the 123myit.com website, click on store. All right, and scroll down to the store here. You've got Windows 8.1 Pro, Windows 8.1, and Windows 8.1 Pro Student, and then you've got a whole bunch of other uh, Office products there. As well so you can just click on these and go through and buy it uh, if you wanted to know just off the top of my head the Microsoft Windows uh, Pro version is is the more expensive one the Microsoft Windows 8.1 is less expensive and the, the student one is actually relatively cheap all right guys uh, so now that we've got our uh, Windows software downloaded what we're going to do now is we're going to start boot camp so you can go up to your search finder here and type in boot Camp assistant, we're going to run that assistant, okay, and we're going to hit continue at this point. All right, now we've got here Booter Camp assistant will help you perform one or more of the following tasks. Please select all, all the tasks you need to perform. So, at this stage, guys, one thing I'm going to show you real quick is I'm actually doing this video on a MacBook Air and it doesn't have a DVD drive, okay? So, you can see here MacBook Air, uh, your 70 version 10.10. .10, and there's all the details for the, the, the Mac there. So it's an early 2014 Mac. Okay, so I don't have a DVD drive. What we're going to do is we're going to essentially copy all the Windows files from this uh, Windows uh, Blue ISO file here, and we're going to copy it to this USB drive. All right, so uh, the first things we need to do is make sure we tick this uh, create a Windows 7 or later version or uh, install disk, okay? And this one is already ticked, okay? This is the uh, software which allows your uh, Windows install to work with uh, the Mac hardware. And then the last tick here is install Windows 7 or later version, okay? So we're going to hit continue. All right, it's already detected that my ISO is a uh, Windows ISO on the desktop and it's already selected it. Um, if it doesn't, if some people have had problems with this actually being selected, um, what you can do is, if this doesn't choose it automatically, you can click on choose and then go and find the file. Also, some people have problems with this file being on the desktop, some permissions issue. I'm not sure whether they're not running it as administrator or whatever. So if that's the case, copy this uh, ISO file and copy it into your documents directory and then go into your documents directory and select your ISO file from there and that has worked as well for some people if you're having problems there. Okay, we're going to, uh, that all looks okay, so we're gonna hit continue. All right, it says here the drive will be erased. Uh, the selected drive will be erased and the data on it will be lost. Do you wanna continue? And we will hit continue. Okay, and so we've just hit continue there guys and now the boot camp system is just formatting the selected drive. So you can see our win install drive there disappears for a second or two. 
and it's now copying all the files. So what it's actually doing is it's going in and extracting all the files from this ISO file, this Windows 8.1 ISO file, and it's putting it on the USB there. Now this may take some time too guys, this could actually take quite a long time for some people. Um, at this stage it looks like it's stopped. Uh, the general rule of thumb, if, it's, uh, if it doesn't give you any error message, then uh, just let it run. If it does come up with error message like could not copy files or whatever, then there's a problem there either with your USB, your internet connection or the ISO file that you're using. So maybe try re-downloading the ISO file again. Okay, But otherwise if you don't get an error message just let it run and it will take some time. Okay guys, so now it's just changed over to downloading Windows support software. This is the software that your hardware will need to work with Windows. So just go ahead and let that download. Now this, is, this file is about one gig in size. So uh, if you're on a slow internet connection, this could take a while as well. Okay guys, so it's downloaded the Windows support software and now it's just saving that Windows support software uh, to the USB drive. Okay guys, so now it's prompting us for our password, so we just want to enter our password in there and press enter or return. Now this part part's pretty important, because this is going to be a dual boot scenario, which means that we'll still be able to access our OSX uh, Yosemite operating system, but we'll also have an option to uh, access the Windows uh, partition as well, or Windows operating system. So. This is our local drive here. Uh, let me just explain this a little bit better. If we go to Go and go to Computer, and here is our Mac OS X drive. Now this is the physical drive that's on the uh, MacBook Air that we have here. And if we wanted to divide it in half, divide equally, so that we have half of the drive uh, has space for OS X, and the other half of the drive has space for Windows, um, Depending on how much of each you're going to use, you can actually slide the bar across. So let's say I wanted to use all of Windows and very little uh, OS X, then I would slide it all the way to the left. If I wanted to use more of OS X and less of Windows, then I would slide it all the way to the right. For this video, I'm going to hit divide equally and then go install. Now before you hit install here guys, make sure that you back up uh, any data that's on your OS X partition just in case anything goes wrong. However, I've done this loads of times and it's never, I've never lost any data. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty robust system so you should be pretty safe. As long as you follow these uh, instructions that we've done so far, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Okay guys, so once it restarts there, you'll be prompted you should be prompted with this uh, Windows setup screen. Uh, just select your country and your currency time and format. So for me, I'm going to put English Australia and then hit next. Okay, the product key. Now remember uh, earlier I mentioned earlier the product key is on the 123MyIT website under the downloads uh, heading. If you scroll down to where you downloaded the Windows 8.1 preview file, then you will have the uh, key there, so we'll just enter that in real quick. Alright, once you've entered that in, if you just hit next. Alright, hit next on the Windows 8.1 Pro Preview. Accept the terms and agreements. Now what you'll need to do is uh, go to Drive 0 Partition 4 Boot Camp and we want to uh, format that drive and then click OK. Once that's been formatted, we just want to hit next, okay? And now it should go through and start to install Windows. Guys, if you're getting a GPT partition error, um, I will put a link on, the, on this video now. Uh, click on that link and that should help you try and solve some problems if you're having a GPT partition error coming up at that stage. Now guys, uh, this installation here is uh, it's, uh, all installing from the USB, so this part should be fairly, fairly fast and fairly straightforward. Depends on the speed of your Mac and depends on how old your Mac is, uh, how quick this will go through. But as you can see here, uh, getting files ready for installation, it's, uh, it's moving along fairly quickly. I, I believe probably about another half an hour and then you should be done uh, installing everything.
Okay guys, so once it starts up there, you'll get the personalized screen. I'm just going to put in 123MyIT. Next. I'm just going to go use uh, Express Settings. Or if you wanted to customize, you can actually go customize. It's probably better to go customize, but for this video, we want to make it quicker, so we'll just go use Express Settings. All right, we want to set up an account. We'll just put in 123, and then go Finish. All right, so it's going to go through and install some apps and other, other bits and pieces now. It says there it might take a few minutes. Uh, it probably takes about 10 minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your Mac. Okay, guys, so now we've come up with the Boot Camp installer. Okay, so this will uh, install the drivers so that uh, Windows will be able to run okay on your Mac. So we want to accept the license agreement and then hit install. Alright, so this will install things like video drivers. Uh, it will install your sound and mouse buttons. So when you press the, mount, uh, the sound buttons on your keyboard on your Mac, it will make the sound go up and down properly. If you don't uh, have any luck with that, so for for some reason, if you press your you know your um, volume up and volume down buttons, and it doesn't it doesn't uh, turn the sound up and down on your Mac, then what you need to do is actually go to the one two three my T website and uh, click on the links, which will allow you to download the Windows support software for your your Mac version. Okay, so if you go to the one two three my T website. Uh, I'll put a link on the video now and then select the type of Mac that you have. You'll be able to download the Windows support software. Okay, so just then hit finish guys. And we want to do a restart, just go yes. Okay guys, so after you reboot, uh, that should be pretty much it. Uh, you should be able to bring up Windows 8.1 and start using it as normal. Uh, a few tips here, if you're having problems with your sound or your sound buttons up or down then you uh, need to install the Windows support software and you can get that from the 123myit website. Alright, so if we open up a web browser and go to 123myit.com and then go down to where it says Mac and then just select your type of Mac that you have. So for example, uh, we're running a MacBook Air so we would go into the MacBook Air and if we scroll down, we'll see our drivers for the MacBook Air under the MacBook Air Boot Camp drivers. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If you need to boot into OS X again, you can go and restart your machine. When it's restarting, if you hold down the Alt or Option key, and then that'll bring up this option here. And as you can see, we've got our Mac OS X drive, our Windows drive, and a USB drive here which is our USB uh, Windows install USB that we created. If we want to go back into OS X Mavericks we just highlight that. You can go across to either one of these but let's uh, select our OS X Mavericks. Press enter on your keyboard. Alright and there you have it so you're back into OS X. Okay guys so that's pretty much it from me. If this was helpful don't forget to leave a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the video around and feel free to leave some feedback in the comments menu down below. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.